Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. It's time to kick some ass. My name is Saiken <coughs> and this is going to be the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are beating the game with only two soldiers per mission. Time for yet another um, uh, dark VIP mission and I already mentioned in the last uh, episode that we're going to do it with uh, Renman and Zirkem. Good old uh, a team that has uh, proven its worth uh, time and time and time again so we should be fine going into this mission i've forgotten to look at the mission details um, but i think it was about 16-ish enemies doesn't matter really could be more and we we would still be fine overall the run is going great <coughs> I think uh, this month is going to be the one where we are invading the stronghold of the last uh, Chosen, the Hunter, and uh, finally getting the Sniper Rifle, which uh, might uh, also change the um, usability of the Sniper quite a bit, because uh, with the Sniper Rifle and its ability to um, make death from above to a permanent uh, quote unquote serial um, because it only takes one um, action unit might really make the sniper class even stronger i talked the last time about how the sniper class is strong in itself but is maybe not the optimal class for these um, two men uh, runs um, i think this weapon has the potential to change it and i want to see how how good it is in uh, these scenarios but yeah before we can use the weapon we clearly need to kill the chosen we received a priority one transmission from the spokesman the resistance has a vip operating out of this area in need of immediate extraction Asset good forces are on alert nearby we need to, to fully extract the, uh, the, the vip PC. here so it's going to be a timed mission with a bit of difficulties. Luckily for us, uh, Zirkin and Renvin have had more than one of these missions, so I'm pretty confident that we can uh, manage it. <coughs> Other than that, by the way, I think we're um, the overall storyline has also progressed to the point where we <clears throat> could almost go and finish the game so depending on when I feel that um, Hawkbite and Roby are ready for the last mission we um, could also start that shouldn't be too long uh, we looked at um, getting dodge to 100 <coughs> at least for Hawkbite so that's probably still something we um, uh, we might want to look into. Everything else would be done in my perspective. Oh, it was just waiting for me to click. We got all of the best equipment um, once the last chosen dies. We're kind of on our final lap to finish this. Um, I have no idea how hard the last mission is going to be. Clearly with only two soldiers, it's going to be a bit more challenging. Menace one five, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to PE back volume. First. And luckily for us, we're not going in with only two, but three soldiers. Look at that. All right. So almost asked us to go over here and then make our way over so let's almost have a double move with charlotte here good copy moving on target spotted out the first pack there we go lovely Renman. Oh, 
Well, I guess uh, this here is too good of a high ground to pass it by, uh, pass it on. We could also get ourselves uh, uh, positioned up here. In both cases, we would probably, yeah, can't just grapple that far. So we need to grapple first, uh, move first, and then grapple. This here is an aggressive positioning, which risks um, pulling another unit, so I'd rather take this one here. Worked like a charm. Let's soften up the mutant. Which again worked pretty well. And this here will now trigger death from above. As well as a softening up of the Archon. Finishing the Archon with a normal slash. 100% <clears throat> chance to hit. Plus, it cannot be dodged. So, just about what we were looking to do. It's dead. It has to be dead. Don't need to do, uh, don't need to use implacable. Our positioning is a little bit wonky after this turn, because we do have two operatives standing in the open. Might as well put him a little bit in cover. I guess that'll be okay. That's the sector pod which I uh, can see moving. And there we go. Turn done. Oh, come on. Good. There we go. Turn done. I'm on the move. Is this your triggering another pack? Yes, it is. So lucky us that we haven't uh, chosen to take an aggressive position because now that would have pretty much backfired on us. Heading out. Moving down. Hmm. I don't think we should use uh, dual strike yet. Situation fire might be a thing. In case it hits, it's going to kill uh, the codex if it doesn't hit. It's at least going to um, uh, get rid of uh, the cover. Oh, what? Look at that. Viper was killed. Viper was killed. That is interesting. So we were uh, shooting and apparently there was a pack of vipers behind which we not only triggered but killed. Okay, we don't need to use any cooldowns uh, because again this here seems to just play out so well that we finished up the pack. 
without pulling anything. I definitely got that one. Got unplaceable. Keeps moving a little bit further into so. cover. And our VIP also takes cover, maybe behind the target, uh, uh, behind the target, which is not explodable. <clears throat> so yeah, that saturation fire was really worth uh, worth it. We killed four. The specter was hit for maximum damage. It died immediately, and we killed two vipers. Brilliant. Okay, again, we need to get over to uh, this side. Might as well continue right, moving. That's a single elite specter. Moving in just a little bit closer, see if we trigger something else. Okay, I'll go. Nope, we're not. Perfect opportunity for rapid fire, in my opinion. We don't have blue screen rounds, but we can hit quite hard. There we go, Spectre down, Zirke goes on to Overwatch, and another another pack uh, destroyed right away. So, one pack per round, and we even killed the, uh, the Vipers um, on top of it. Probably the Vipers have been accompanying this guy, that's why he was all alone. There's the Sector Pod. Okay, so we were to move over to here, that'll be still high ground against three targets. We were to move up to here. That'll only hit two targets, okay. We could go all the way to here. One, two, all right. You can also use a Shred Storm Cannon in this direction, which is probably not the worst idea ever. Um, but before we do so, let's get ourselves in a proper position. Eighty percent chance to actually kill this guy and get a death from above. I'll take that. Okay. Now let's try to shred the <coughs> sector port. 
It's one hit. And a nice little supporting shot. That's good. We are going to advance teamwork. Softening up the sector port even further. There we go. And now it's in kill range. Feels almost wasteful to use the Shred Storm Cannon only on one target. Oh, look at that. You can see even further. It glitched, so you can see another pack. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're not going to use the Shred Storm Cannon. It really feels a little bit like a waste. That armor's tough. Instead, concealing ourselves. And let's hand over the other advanced teamwork. To finish this guy. Alright, reload. And hunker down. <clears throat> Alright, so we're looking at 12 hit points. Wait a second. If we were to... Ah, we can't reach him with a... With a melee attack. Well, that's... Well, that's a shame. Moving up. Looks like hostiles over here. Too far away to reach him with a grenade. Moving to designated coordinates. Which means we're instead trying to just hit him. It worked like a charm. Renman moves over. Moving. Next turn we can engage these guys. Overwatch. Perfect. Ten more rounds and so far we've done quite well. <coughs> So 
So nice little grenade back in into their back line. Would be super helpful. Asking myself the question if we could move all the way down here and then grapple hook ourselves back up. How far can we reach with our grenades? I think we could reach them even if we were to just normally move. Any chance to grapple? No. So let's take the safe route. Yeah, that works quite well. We are starting with exposing them. Very nice. I'll make it quick. All right, let's go. Did I just pull another pack? Yep. I got it, right? That's exactly what I did. Lovely. I like it when everything is going according to plan. Nice little attack. We are still rebring. Check it before you get too close. I mean, yeah, that's that's an option. We know. I could uh, use the Shredstorm cannon. We know that these guys here still have tactical analysis, so they can't immediately act with two actions. Redstone can would definitely kill him. Would severely injure the um, shield bearer. The shield bearer will use its shield ability, probably get a mark or a shot, but we are untouchable at the moment. And the mech does not have line of sight, so it by definition cannot do anything. Right, might as well give it a go. Who wants some? We should be fine.
All right, lots and lots and lots of overwatch. I love it. As we have learned from the from this uh, particular team so far there is only one way of dealing with all of that which is attacking even further so moving to here would we'll definitely kill this guy because we can take a shot and even next turn if he moves uh, the blade storm will kill him so what we're going to do is we're going to run and gun I'm coming for ya. we're not triggering overwatch And this here should kill him. Advanced hair trigger, very nice. We do have him placeable, so might as well move ourselves up here. Grappling ourselves into cover, this should not trigger Overwatch. I was dead wrong. It certainly triggered Overwatch. But in retaliation, also a nice little over, uh, a nice little um, blade storm. It triggered Overwatch because it was in full cover. If this here would have been full cover, we would have snuck all the way um, into it. Since it was half cover, we effectively triggered Overwatch because there was a movement that could have been seen. And grappling hooks trigger Overwatch. There's another blade zone, and there's the kill. All right. Copy that. We can pretty easily just try to move out of uh, this mission. Seven more turns left. There is no alien here, elsewise there would have been an alien turn. No reinforcements coming in either. And it looks like a, an excellent, but not yet flawless mission. Took one shot. A little bit room for improvement. And the Overwatch uh, thing, unfortunately, was a, uh, was a gamble. But yeah, that worked out quite well. <clears throat> I think there is another retaliation mission, if I'm not mistaken, which should be happening somewhat soonish. Are 
remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. Right. Squad made it back whole and the aliens paid the price. Great work, Commander. Excellent. Good, we got Intel and another engineer. I think it's the twelfth engineer by now, so no thirteenth even, which we do not need anymore. Let's Avengers scan on. It may have been a dirty trick, but you have to um, maintain long range communications. Our covered ops will be late. Oh, wow, be will be delayed by a week. That is really bad. If it means slowing down our efforts, we need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Specifically, since I wanted to infiltrate the Chosen. So that stinks. It'll need to wait until the very end of the month. In the meantime, we don't have the ability to train any bonds. I thought... Oh, Mitch is still... Um, is still ill. I thought that we could train uh, Mitch because I think his bond level increased. There we go. Mitch is back. And that also means we can finally improve their bond level. Nothing more to do in the proving grounds. We'll just get some more heavy weapons. That's pretty much it. The UFO seems to be gone, so we can get back to farming intel. At this point, we're waiting for the covered action to be done. And there's the retaliation side I was talking about earlier. That's going to be a quick but painful mission. Probably together with us, uh, with the Chosen. It's in his territory, so most likely it's going to happen with uh, him. It's considered very difficult, so uh, Zirkem and uh, Renman are the right ones to do it. Only 10 enemies, so it's almost 100% going to be him. Chrysalids um, are the ones that I am fearing the most because we don't have uh, Medikit uh, with us. Priests, Lancers, Heavy Mechs, Purifiers, all of the other stuff is quite standard. Uh, yeah. And we're going to do that real quick uh, before we can finally, in eight days, invade his stronghold. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, consider hitting the like button and leave a comment down below. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.